Yo guys, Oli Tat here and today we are back with another FIFA 23 video. It's almost 6pm on Thursday the 24th of November 2022. But just before the video starts I want to say two things about yesterday's video. A, thank you so much, it's almost on 200 views. Uh, it's been ages since one of my videos hit barely 30 views, never mind over 100, never mind nearly 200. So thank you guys so much for that. And also, apologies for the lack of audio. Well, there was audio, just the lack of my voice in the first part of the video. Uh, my microphone is here, and it, like, retracts forward and back. And I think, upon uh, pulling it towards me, I think the cable fell out, so... Yep, um, so for one of the most important FIFA videos of the last couple of months, there's no, there's none of me speaking over, so it's just silence for six minutes, which is brilliant. But, it is almost 6pm on Thursday. Uh, I think Black Friday content could start today, considering it's Black Friday tomorrow. There has been leaked a flashback Ashley Young SBC, a silver flashback Ashley Young SBC. You're also getting best of team of the week today. New season in moment. Check out an international takeover in season two of football. Earn 170 high plus stars throughout season two. There you go, best of team of the week is back in packs. And something or other there that we don't care about, some ob objective... Uh, T4 set or something. Any new objectives? No. Uh, I've got three. I've got two games to do Silver Beast. Uh, but I'm also combining it with the. No new milestones either. I'm also combining it with the. Championship Foundations. So you can see, I've got three games to go there. So in three games' time, I should have Cabasele and Silver Beast done. Which will be quite good. Um, so no objective. Uh, hopefully something big tomorrow. Obviously you still have a flashback Ashley Young SBC. Uh, for Morientes uh, World Cup hero is here. Only three squads. Only three squads for a 90 rated World Cup hero. Could be very good. Um, four star, four star, high, medium, six for one. It, it looks like he's given the middle finger in his picture almost. Uh, striker, cam, centre forward, or right wing. So it's combined with the shapeshifter from last year as well, which obviously played cam. Oh, the shooting's real nice. Pace is good. Passing's a bit average. Outside of agility and balance, dribbling's real nice. Apart from that, dribbling's okay. Physicals are good as well. Um, three squads. Honestly... 85, 84, 85, 87, I'd say. Because that dribbling's kind... Drib, the drib, honestly, the dribbling's the only bad thing about the card. I don't know why you play it cam with that passing as well, but... It is still a 90-rated uh, hero with... From, from a top-five league, up front, like, an attacker, with insane shooting. So, I think, I'd say that's fair, 85, 86, 87. 83, 84, 86 with one team of the week. In my opinion, that is actually really good value. If you don't mind low... It's not even that low dribbling. Like, it's not as if you've got 50 agility, 50 balance. It's 78 and 75. Which I think is near enough to 80s that you won't notice a difference. So honestly, that's good value. That's probably coming in at about 100k or even less. And people would definitely pay more than 100k for this if it was on the market. I don't know why that's like the most in-depth I've ever gone into an SBC. That's so a pre-Black Friday... Flash challenge. So for the next couple of days or so, keep an eye on FIFA every couple of hours or so because uh, there might be flash challenges. Um, I say I can't do that because uh, I, I just don't. I just don't have a fodder. Germany retro set for a 2014 Germany home kit. I say it's not really that retro. It was eight years ago, man. <laughs> Top bins kit. That's wow. That's really ugly. It's almost ugly to the point that it's good. Um, so, pre Black Friday Flash Challenge 1 for small rare gold players packs, that's 6 rare gold. To get 6 rare golds, you need 8 rare silvers and uh, 28 chem as well. That is, ex I don't think that's worth it to be honest. Honestly, I would. If you haven't done it already, I'd give this SBC a skip. 28 chemistry, 8 rares. Only, only 4 of them have to be gold, to be fair. But I mean, considering you only get 6 rare gold back, I'd give that one a skip. 
Um, free for Cup Mark, your matchups also for small red gold players pack, but you do get five other packs in return. Potentially six, so there you go. Silver players pack 80 th uh, plus World Cup times three. Premium gold pack, Primal Ectrum and Jumbo Premium gold pack. Uh, nice and low squad requirements. That that one's a that one's a hit rather than a miss in my opinion. Yeah, Silver Flashback SVC Ashley Young could be interesting because it's an SVC rather than an objective. So we could be getting the Silver promo we got last year, which honestly, in my opinion, was actually a really good promo. Like, I actually really enjoyed uh, grinding out all the players. I think that was the only that was the only promo I actually played online to get the players purely just to have them. Oh yeah, something was starting tomorrow. Um, uh, yeah, I got every Silver Stars in the Silver Stars promo last year. Um, I made I made a video on it. I think. Um, I'm going to try and screenshot this when it comes up. If not, I'm going to try and find it on Twitter. No! To the wrong screen! Okay, so there could be heroes there. Okay, the one on the right is definitely Hung Min Son. The one in the middle is almost definitely Mbappe. <laughs> Or like Usman Dembele or something. And the one on the left is the hero. Um, but now, the problem with, as I was saying, the problem with the silver promo last year was it was just a bit too late in the game. Like, even though I did enjoy it, you know. Um, I think for Black... Because uh, last year's Black Friday promo was signature signings. Which, honestly, wasn't very good, to be honest. Um, there was going to be a firm on Mendy, but obviously with the allegations of... Uh, Assault uh, regarding him. EA replaced him with Renato Sanchez, I believe. Honestly, that just wasn't a very good promo, in my opinion. But if they... If they bring in the silver promo, as well as another promo, obviously they're doing um, that purple one, Path to uh, Road to the World Cup. This could be a very good Black Friday event, and I'm very, really looking forward to it. They are bringing some new packs out as well. Some One of them could be in the store. Yeah, I think... I think some of them are in the store already. Um, season 1 review pack. A player from once to watch Road to the Knockouts, Rule Breakers are out of position, as well as 15 rare gold players for 100k. Probably a miss. Um, but, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Black Friday promo tomorrow. There is also a couple more packs added to the code. There is a World Cup Centurions pack, or like a Summit Centurions pack, which contains 100 rare gold players, as well as 10 World Cup player picks, which is just going to be insane. Considering 50k a pack contains 12, so that is approximately... It's about 8 lots of that. Because 12 times 8, 96. So it's 8 and a third of that. Um, a third of 50 you can't really do. I think it's like... I don't even know. But if they were to price that comparable to other packs, it would be about 400k uh, coins. Or, let's see, um, about 8, 900,000. No, eight, not 100,000. About 8, 9,000 FIFA points. Which is a bit, you know... How much would that even cost? 9,000 FIFA points. So, 6,000 6, is 36 quid. It would cost you about... Um, about 55 quid for that pack. Which is absolutely outrageous. Considering you can... I don't know. You, an, yeah, an Xbox controller. I don't even know. If the, if that was comparable to other, that's that's EA player prices as well. It would cost you about sixty pounds for that pack. Oh my days! But yeah, I am really looking forward to tomorrow's content, whatever it may be. Um, I think the loading screen actually said it started a bit earlier. I think it said like nineteen hours or something. So it might start. That'd be two o'clock tomorrow, maybe. Um. No one, no one's put it on Twitter yet. Let me search for it. 
Yeah, it's it starts in it starts in twenty hours. So at two o'clock tomorrow, we're getting the road to the World Cup. So there will be a video from me two o'clock tomorrow. If we get anything six o'clock, I will do a video as well. So it could be like three, maybe four videos tomorrow. Um, but that that hero in the world, I, I think it's pretty obvious the other two are Mbappe and possibly Dembele, but obviously Son Heung-min as well. What about the hero though? Obviously, we've just we've literally just got a Morientes SBC today. Um, so it would be a bit strange for them to give him an SBC today and then release him into packs tomorrow. I can't find hero on footbin. The, 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 they've actually just not got heroes. Oh no, they're the new for heroes. Leagues La Liga. So, out of these players, Morientes has a World Cup hero. Marquez has a World Cup hero. Macherano has a World Cup hero. Diego Forlan has a World Cup hero that I also have. Capa de Villa has a World Cup hero. The only La Liga World Cup, uh, hero that doesn't have a World Cup version is Alexander Mostovoy. It was 90 dribbling, wasn't it, on the loading screen? Mostovoy has 88, so... <laughs> and that's only a plus two, so it could... So, plus two on the rate, that's like 88 rated Mostovoy. So, it's either one of the ones that has already got a World Cup hero, which is, you know, a bit... It, it's not strange for me, eh? It's just, you know, not very good. See, or it's either Mostovoy, which is only a plus two on his card, which makes him 88, which isn't exciting. Or it's a player like Shapeshifters last year, players who transferred leagues. So, it could be like, I don't even know. Um, but your Crouch has never played in one league, has he? Um, Diego Molito probably has. Um, I don't even know. Why well, don't feel like Ivan Cordoba as well, but I don't know. We'll see tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So, early 6 pm video from me tomorrow. And that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.